Dogs are a lot like humans, and the condition of our teeth and mouths can heavily impact the rest of our health. Should we be concerned with our Pomeranian's dental health? And do Pomeranians have bad teeth and bad breath? Pomeranians can be known for having bad breath, gum disease, and bite issues. Being a small dog, they are more vulnerable to having dental issues and bad breath. All dogs are at risk for periodontal disease, with the majority of dogs developing this condition by the time they are three. Proper dental care can prevent tragic outcomes. Bad breath or halitosis can occur in any dog breed, including Pomeranians. However, whether a Pomeranian has bad breath can vary based on the individual factors and overall dental health of your dog. So here are some things to consider. Dental hygiene. Just like with any other dog, maintaining good dental hygiene is essential to preventing bad breath. Regular brushing of your Pomeranian's teeth using dog safe toothpaste can help reduce plaque and tartar buildup, which can contribute to bad breath. Diet. Diet can also impact a dog's breath. Feeding your Pomeranian high quality dog food and avoiding table scraps can help prevent odors caused by digestion issues. Chewing habits. Chewing on appropriate toys and treats designed to promote dental health can help keep your Pomeranian's teeth clean and breath fresher. Health conditions. Sometimes bad breath can be a sign of an underlying health issue, such as dental infections, gum disease, digestive problems, or other health concerns. If your Pomeranian's bad breath persists despite good dental care, it's a good idea to consult your veterinarian to rule out any potential health issues. Do Pomeranians have bad teeth? There are many factors that determine if a dog has bad teeth or not, and it can also vary from dog to dog. There are two major reasons for dental problems in Pomeranians, and there are hereditary and the lack of appropriate care. So let's take a look at the hereditary issue first. Dental problems that are hereditary in dogs. Some dental problems that dogs experience can be inherited from their parents. Pomeranians do have smaller mouths than some other breeds and can be more vulnerable to dental issues. Unerupted teeth. There are some breeds that have a hard time with all of their teeth erupting from their gum lines. If a dog has a tooth that has not erupted through the gums, it needs to be removed to prevent cysts from forming. If a cyst forms on the unerupted tooth, it could lead to your dog losing a portion of its jaw. Improper bite. It's possible for your dog to develop an improper bite due to its growing phase. Your veterinarian will be able to detect any potential issues with your dog's bite and be able to advise you on any interventions that you should consider. Major growth problems with your dog's bite can also cause long-term effects if they are not dealt with immediately. Overbite. Pomeranians are born with a natural overbite that helps them with the nursing process. As your puppy grows, the bottom portion of the jaw grows out and catches up with the top portion of the mouth. Sometimes there are issues with the growing process that prevents it from growing correctly. Your vet should be able to spot a problem and be able to assist you with correcting it. Underbite. In a very similar fashion, the bottom part of the jaw can outgrow the top portion and result in an underbite. Enamel defects. Your dog can experience enamel defects if they have been severely malnourished for some time or has had a virus that has caused a fever. Both of these circumstances are known to damage a dog's enamel in their teeth. So what is dental disease in dogs? The most common dental disease found in dogs is periodontal disease. It's been said that over 80% of dogs have periodontal disease by the time they are 3 years old. What is periodontal disease in dogs? Periodontal disease is when plaque and tartar build up inside the dog's mouth and reach under the gum line. The plaque and tartar build up starts to irritate the dog's gums and grows bacteria. A dog's body sends off an immune response to the bacteria, which then can cause inflammation. Over time, the bacteria and inflammation destroys the healthy gum tissue. What is gingivitis in dogs? Gingivitis is the name given to the early first stages of periodontal disease. What is stomatosis in dogs? Stomatosis is the name for inflammation inside the dog's mouth. What is endodontic disease in dogs? Endodontic disease in dogs refers to the pulp of a tooth getting inflamed or infected. So do dogs get cavities? Cavities or tooth decay is actually very rare in dogs. So what are the dangers of dental disease? 
Just like humans, if a dog has dental disease, it makes them more vulnerable to additional health issues, including heart issues, infections, cancer, and diabetes. So what are the dangers of inflammation? If plaque builds up inside your dog's mouth, your dog's immune system will be triggered and the tissues within your dog's mouth will become inflamed. The immune system's response will effectively kill off bacteria in the mouth, but will also destroy healthy tissue inside your dog's mouth. So how is a dog's dental disease connected to heart disease? Disease. A dog's heart is vulnerable to heart disease, which has been found to be connected to the inflammation caused by dental disease. The reason for the connection between periodontal disease and heart disease in dogs is unfortunately unknown at this time. It is known that both conditions are often found when a dog is suffering from moderate to severe periodontal disease. The bacteria that is associated with periodontal disease is also the same exact bacteria that is found inside the dog's heart. So a dog with dental disease may suffer severe weight loss. If a dog is in pain due to dental disease, it may not want to eat as much as it used to. If your dog reduces their nutrients or stops eating altogether, they can lose a dangerous amount of weight and become so weak that their body will struggle to fight off the infections in their bodies. A dog with dental disease is also at risk to fracture its jaw. If a dog has a mouth full of trouble with infections, abscesses, large teeth, or baby teeth that never fell out, it can damage your dog's jaw over time and make it have a higher risk for fracture. So how is dental disease in dogs connected to diabetes? Experts aren't exactly sure if dental disease causes diabetes or if it's diabetes causing the dental disease. It may end up with both situations being accurate. If a dog has diabetes and periodontal disease, it can be harder to regulate their diabetes due to the inflammation and bacteria in their mouths. The inflammation and bacteria affects a dog's blood sugar levels and can affect how the body responds to insulin. Dental disease can cause your dog to experience pain. It's hard when your dog is having pain. They can't speak to us and tell us exactly how they're feeling. We sometimes have to guess and other times we go without knowing. The thought of your dog in pain without you knowing or being able to help is sad. Dental disease can also cause tooth loss. It's possible that your dog may lose teeth if they're experiencing severe dental issues. Dental disease can also cause broken teeth. Just how dental disease can put your dog at risk for fractured jaw, it can also cause your dog to get broken teeth. So will my dog have a shorter life if it has dental disease? Depending on your dog's specific condition, it's possible that a dog with dental disease can have a shorter lifespan compared to a healthy dog without any dental problems. So what are the symptoms of dental disease within dogs? There are many symptoms of dental disease within dogs that you should look out for. Bad breath, sores inside of the dog's mouth, blood inside of your dog's mouth, loose or damaged teeth, abscesses or bumps within your dog's mouth or gums, sneezing, whining or showing discomfort when eating or playing with toys, and a snotty nose. If your dog hasn't started experiencing dental disease, there are many things you can do to help prevent it. Brushing your dog's teeth is best if it is done by you at home often enough that your dog is comfortable with the process. Dental cleaning done by your vet. You may need to have a vet professionally clean your dog's teeth under anesthesia if there are signs of plaque and tartar issues. Diet is important. They say that we are what we eat and I believe it. Make sure that you feed your dog the best quality food that you possibly can. Give your dog good chew toys. Your dog needs some great chew toys to help remove any plaque and tartar in their mouths and I will link some of our favorites down below. Make sure that your dog gets enough exercise. Exercise is important for your dog's entire health and well-being as yours too. Do Pomeranians breathe through their mouths? Pomeranians will breathe through both their mouths and their noses, depending on their current situation. Dogs will breathe in air through their noses and then breathe it out through their mouths in a panting fashion to reduce their body heat when they are warm. Pomeranians will breathe through their noses solely if they're trying to warm up. If a dog needs to increase the oxygen in their lungs, they will take deep breaths through their mouths. So do Pomeranians have overcrowded teeth? Sometimes your Pomeranian puppy will not lose 
lose all of their puppy teeth as they should, and that can result in overcrowding. Your vet will look at your puppy's teeth and recommend removing some if needed. Do Pomeranians have a hard time losing those puppy teeth? It's possible for a Pomeranian puppy to not lose all of their puppy teeth within the typical time frame of eight months. When we brought our Pomeranian Willow in to get spayed, our vet told us they would pull any puppy teeth that looked problematic. During a spay or neuter operation is the perfect time to address any puppy dental issues. What dog breeds have the worst teeth? For one reason or another, there are some dog breeds that have worse teeth compared to others. So let's take a look at some of these breeds. The Great Dane, Boxers, Shih Tzus, Dash Hounds, Pugs, Bulldogs, Chihuahuas, Yorkies, Maltese, Kali and Lhasa Apso. So although it's possible for Pomeranians to have numerous dental issues and bad breath, many of them can be preventable with proper veterinary care and dental care at home. If you enjoy this video, you may enjoy my video on male versus female Pomeranians. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hug your palm today.